Okay, today we are looking at the QPad MK80 Pro Gaming Mechanical Keyboard. Just take it out of the box. Here. Yeah. The dimensions of this keyboard are 44.8 by 14.9 by 3.5 centimeters. The wrist pad is 44.8 by 6.6 .6 by 1.7 centimeters. Okay, so in the box you get a user's manual that you'll probably never look at. There are some orange caps here that you can replace WIS and D with and a cap puller. Uh, there's a USB 2 cable here with a PS2. Or it's an adapter for a PS2 and it can go into the USB as well. Though I should mention that the uh, N key rollover will not work with that. See, so yeah, there's another USB 2 and headphone and microphone jack which corresponds to the keyboard. Okay, so here's the keyboard itself. Pretty standard layout. I am quite surprised that there aren't any extra keys on it anywhere, like macro keys or anything like that. Around the back here, you see here's the headphone socket, the microphone socket, and the two USB, so you can just quickly plug anything into the back of it. And on the bottom, there's these nice rubberized feet and these little things that raise it up. You see here, this is the wrist pad. It's made of a nice kind of soft plastic. I quite like it. Uh, if you hold FN and press 8 or 2 to go up and down, you can adjust the dimming of the lights of the backlit. The backlights, I mean. You see it has Cherry MX red switches. And these are the orange keys that go on top of them. Not very nice looking, in my opinion, especially with the blue backlights. Okay, so now it's time for some nice arty sweeping shots. <laughs> Hi guys, okay, so let's talk a little bit more about this keyboard. Now the switches, it's got Cherry MX red switches in it, which are, they're very light activation switches, so it's only 45 grams to, put, to depress one of these switches, which is very, very good for gaming. It's also a linear type switch, so you don't get any kind of click halfway down, so it's just, it's very quick to press, it's very good for mashing like this. It's available in many different switches, or not many different switches. You can have it in a blue, red, brown, or black, and they're kind of different different activations, like how much weight and some of them. I think the blues and the browns might be clicky ones that actually make an audible click as it goes down. But either way, this particular one comes with red, which is the best for gaming, as you'd expect with a gaming keyboard. Uh, these switches are rated at 50 million presses like guaranteed that they'll do that many which is really very good and if you've never had a mechanical keyboard before and you're thinking well hmm, that seems interesting I really do I urge you to try a mechanical gaming keyboard or just a, me a mechanical keyboard they just your typing will improve I mean if you find the switches that you like best your typing will definitely improve they're much quicker, they've got much more feel to them than a normal rubber dome keyboard. And I know many people, many tech people, they kind of have the mechanical keyboard snobbery going on, and I am kind of sliding that way as well, but I do have some rubber dome keyboards that I use on the one downstairs, but there we go, it's a personal preference thing again. I would personally recommend getting a nice mechanical gaming keyboard. Also, this keyboard fe features an N key rollover, feature so that means any of these keys can be pressed all at once and it won't, it'll, they'll all register regardless which is another good thing for gaming when you're kind of mashing around trying to get the right thing done um, though I should mention I think I mentioned before that if you're using it with the USB adapter then that feature won't work at all you need to put it into the PS2 socket okay and a little bit more about these I mentioned I don't really think these are very nice, and to be honest, if I just take one of them out of here for you, if I can get the bloody thing <laughs> open. 
if you look at these, this orange colour and this, I, it's, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it's not particularly nice to me. It's kind of a little bit, I'm not entirely sure why they choose blue with orange like that, because it's still blue backlit. And it makes it look kind of weird and kind of cheap, really, and I'm, I'm not, not so much for that, so... We're going to leave those in there and never touch them again. As for the layout of the keyboard, this is all, well, it's a standard UK layout, but it comes in many different layouts. But I think, as I said, there's I was expecting it because it says it's a pro gaming keyboard, obviously, though I won't be able to confirm that not being a pro gamer. I was expecting sort of macro keys maybe down the side here or something like that. But really, this is just a standard keyboard with We Love Gaming written on the bottom. I mean, that's not to say this is a pretty nice keyboard. Obviously, the switches are kind of personal preferences, but I found this very nice to type on, even with freezing cold hands, which is you know, a problem in my house, but never mind. Uh, the adjustment for this light here, I think it'd be easier if I show it to you like this. You hold the FN key down here, and then you can go up like this or down like this. I find... On the highest setting, this is a little bit too bright, especially if it's dark. It gets a bit, you get a bit when looking at them. So I tend to keep it on that, that one there, so you can see them well enough. But anyway, again, that's personal preference. As for these here, they do plug straight into your sound card, which is a very good thing if you've got decent on onboard sound or a decent sound card. Otherwise, it won't make much of a difference. But it's very useful having these two USB ports at the back here. Although, to be honest, for me, not being a pro gamer, I'm much more likely to just use it because I can't bother to bend down and put my memory stick into here or anything like that. Or I did, but I did think I did plug my PS3 controller into one of these Byro Bougies adapter, which I have a video coming up uh, sometime later when I can be bothered to ed edit it. <laughs> uh, the wrist pad here, made of a nice soft plastic. I was. It, does, it doesn't feel cheap or anything. This feels very, very nice. And it, I don't think... I thought, hmm, it's probably going to scratch very easily. But actually, I've been using this for a few weeks now. Maybe even a month. I was supposed to do this video quite a while ago. So, boom, boom. Yeah, so it's, it's good. It's quite comfortable to rest on. Especially when you've got like a rubber surface like I have. Where if you push your hand down, you end up with indents all over your hand. A few things I didn't mention before, it weighs 1.27 kilograms, which, you know, I'm not sure it's really relevant, because a keyboard like this is something that you buy and you leave on your desk. It's not going to be something you take around with you. If you did want a keyboard that you can take around with you, I would recommend getting a compact one that doesn't have the number pad on it, like this. It'd be much easier to carry around your it in your backpack or whatever. That'd be much nicer. And it also comes with a two-year warranty, but mechanical switches are notoriously reliable so I don't really think you'll have much problem so in conclusion this keyboard is really very good I don't really have anything bad to say about it the only things like I said I was expecting some extra keys because it is marketed as a pro gaming keyboard so you'd think you'd have macro keys or something like that on it but for what it is it works very well it feels really solid it's not cheap or anything like that it could have had a braided cable on it but it doesn't it just has this normal rubber one which is a little bit disappointing especially for the the price point you're paying for this it retails at around 130 euros i think it says on their website and i paid about 100 pounds for this uh in november 2013 if you're watching this in like three years time or so hello how's the future so, is it worth the price that you pay for it, around the £100 mark? Now, I would say absolutely, definitely. Because this keyboard will last you many, many years. Or mechanical keyboards in general will last you many years because of how many times you can press these switches. They're not going to wear out and go funny and, like, everything's going to rub off and that. I mean, it's a good, solid keyboard with nice usable switches that can really help you out when gaming so yeah i highly recommend this especially as it's from i mean qpad i don't know whether you've ever heard of it i hadn't heard of it when i got it i kind of took a bit of a gamble getting it because i kind of i do kind of like manufacturers that i've never heard of personally i mean i think everyone buy it would buy like a corsair k70 
K K one ever. <laughs> there were, there's so many of them, but everyone would go for a Corsair one, I imagine. And I really do like finding things like this from a company that perhaps not so many people know of, but they do make really good products and it's good to give them a little bit of a shout out. They do do one up from this and one down from this. There's the MK50, which is the lower version, which doesn't have the back light keyboard or anything like that, or all these on it. So that's where the price goes, but you'll still get the good decent switches and all that. And then there is the MK85, which features a few more things. I've got it on the screen here. It looks pretty much identical, just they charge more money. I think it's got customizable profiles, programmable keys, and macros and stuff like that on it. Though it doesn't actually add any more keys, I think you can just change some of the other ones to do stuff. Sometime in the future, I will be showing you some gaming footage using this, though you can't really tell from looking at a stream of a game like, like that. But I need to do some tests with some graphics cards, so I'll do it in conjunction with that. So that was the QPad MK80 Pro Gaming Mechanical Keyboard. If you have any comments, please leave them in the box below. I do read them. I know I don't reply to them as enough um, as much as I should, but trust me, I am going. I am going to be in the future. Uh, hi to all of the people that Nick seems to have sent over here by giving me a shout out in one of his videos. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys next time.